Hello there, how are you doing? I hope you're good. I am good. So to any woman listening to this, do you know the power that has been bestowed upon you by God, your creator? To any man listening to this, do you know the role of women in this life? Do you know how significant they are? Do you know how powerful they are and the power that has been bestowed upon them by God? No, no one is trying to fight you. Don't start an argument. Just listen. I promise it's going to be okay. <laughs> so if you're new here, my name is Masha. I'm a YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you for stopping by. So kindly consider clicking the subscribe button also so that I get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for coming back to this video. So I'm going to share with you a few things that I have learned. On this day, as you see me, I was preparing to go to a women's conference, which was happening on Women's Day. Women were being empowered. Uh, our roles are being defined for us. We are being reminded of things that we might know, but uh, maybe we slept on them. So this was a beautiful day. Just come along. I'll be showing you snippets of how the day was. So kindly watch the video to the end. So I am a believer. I'm a Christian believer. I always say that a lot. Anyone who knows, knows that I, I subscribe to the Christian faith. So... Uh, in Christianity, there's the creation story of how God created, that, created us and how in the beginning the world was empty and void. And then God said, let there be life, let there be light, let there be. And uh, a, lot was, a lot happened, a lot changed. I don't have to go much into those details because uh, I think everyone has gotten a chance to hear about the creation story. So I want to... I want to take you back and think about the creation of man. So the other days, God used to create uh, creatures and and uh, everything that exists now in days. God is a God of order. So after God had created man and all the other living things, he looked for a match for man, and there was no match. And uh, man's world was boring. Man was uh, was bored. He wa his life didn't have much light. There was light on the world, but for man, he was not. He didn't look uh, light lighted up. So, God uh, made man sleep after seeing that there was no match for him. Even in all the animals he had created and all the good things he had created, there was still no match for man. So he made man go to sleep. And when man went to sleep, God took out a rib from man and created woman. And uh, when man woke up, he found woman and God told man, here is your companion. And uh, woman was, was given the power to be a helper. That one is clearly stated. So he told man, here is your companion and she shall be your helper. So I want you to think about any other thing that has been given the role of a helper. There is no other apart from the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was ascending, he promised the disciples to send them a helper. And woman was also given the power of being a helper. So you can imagine just how much power was bestowed on woman. So woman is a helper in man's life. God said we should be a woman uh, is going to be a companion for man. When they were sent out of the Garden of Eden, they were given the power to multiply. Woman was the one to bear the children, so she's naturally a nurturer. She has been given the power to nurture, to carry a pregnancy to term and give birth to children. She has been given the power of helping man reach his destiny. So you can imagine just how much power God entrusted you or are interested the woman that you have with. That is really powerful. And uh, so I'm calling upon every woman. If you've been doubting yourself, it's time for you to take up your charge. God entrusted you to be a helper of others to achieve the, their destiny, of men and children to achieve their destiny. You've been trusted with the power to nurture. It's not only children that you can nurture. 
anything that you've been given, anything that you've been handed to, anything that has been uh, been brought your way, nurture it and multiply it into bigger things and more things. We were looking at the Proverbs 31 woman. She's a virtuous woman. She's a woman of value. She multiplies with her hands. She's an entrepreneur outside her home. She shares what she has with her servants. She she has any the but I just want you to go and read Proverbs thirty one. That woman is a that little woman is a I don't know what even to say, a phenomenal woman. And you can see the Bible describing her. So if you're a woman you've just been sitting around being lazy, waiting to beg, not taking care of yourself, not uh doing uh keeping yourself neat to look beautiful, then you're not being a Proverbs thirty one woman, then you're not being what God wants you to be. So I'm just calling upon you to take charge. And if you are a man and you've been thinking less about women, uh, thinking less about that wife that you have or your sister or your mother, just know that God did not create man, did not create woman from your head so that she'll not be above you. She did not create woman from your feet so that you can trample over her. She created woman from your rib, man. From your own rib. Hmm? Do you know what that means? Under your arm for you to protect her. Near your heart for you to love her. Can you imagine? That is so nice. And she is so fragile. She needs you to love her. To protect her. To be there. And just beside you. So that she can be a helper. To walk with you through this journey. So women, claim your power. Men, empower you, women. Any woman around you doesn't have to be your partner necessarily, even your wife. That colleague that is struggling at her job and you know how you can help her, just help her. That sister, that friend, your aunt, any woman around you, empower them. And for women, take charge. Be the Proverbs 31 woman. Stop being lazy. Huh? Stop just sitting and waiting to be given. Can you be an entrepreneur also in your home? Can you make things with your hand? Eh? That woman is dressed in fine linen, purple linen. I know purple is a color of royalty. And that means that lady is smart. Okay? So I'm coming up for you to take charge. So it was a beautiful ceremony that you had. I enjoyed every part of it. It was happening at the school, at our university. And I really thank God for that chance because it was so eye-opening. And it's like we are being charged up hmm, to go there and be the best woman that you can be. The Proverbs 31 woman submits and loves her husband. That woman takes care of her property. That woman multiplies what she has, makes things in her hands. She, she's a natural, she's virtuous, she's a woman of value. She's a woman with a vision. I had forgotten that part. She's a woman with a vision. Be a woman with a vision. Think about yourself. Think about five years to come. Think about five months to come. Think about. 15 years to come, where do you want to see yourself? Don't just live for today and say maybe you might not be there. God is a giver of life. And you have the power to to say that you want a long life, to ask to be spared from any illnesses or to die young or to die before you achieve your dreams. So claim it. Ask for a long life. Ask for good fortune. Ask for riches. Ask for good things. But above all, ask God to help you remain humble. And uh, to show his hand in your life and to, so that uh, you'll be amb an ambassador of his goodness. I hope this touches someone. So after this day, we, we were to go and have lunch, but then uh, I was getting late for work. So after this, I just went directly to work so I didn't get a video of how the lunch went down. But otherwise, this was a great day. Kudos to you, Pastor Rose. That lady is actually a pastor. She's not yet married. She's doing God's work. She's empowering young ladies and even older ladies. She does this even at State House. Any she's a she's she has she's a lady who has been chosen by God. God's own person. You see, and everyone can be God's person. Then if you think you're a sinner, God forgives us. God looks at us and calls us to him, calls us by his name.
but when you repent, it's a love. I really love it when I'm just talking about the goodness and the glory of God. So that was it, guys. Can you subscribe if you haven't? Like this video, share the link with your friends. Leave us a link. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.